Once our mini is painted, we're going to need to export the textures and the mesh. So go first to Unity. If you didn't add the project, you can click on the Add button and search for your zip. Tell we were like zip. Press the name of the project to open it. On the left of the window, you will see all of your assets. You can open the file. In the explorer by pressing right click on assets and show in explorer this folder will be the location where all your assets will be imported by tailweaver so that's where you want your files to go and that's what we're going to do in substance left click on file and export texture you will then get that view you can set the output directory and the output template we are going to create the Tailweaver template. So go over Output Templates and create a new preset by pressing the plus sign. You can rename the preset. And I'm going to compare with the first one I did, Tailweaver. So you've got three textures, a normal one, a base color, and a metallic ambient occlusion and roughness combined texture. Right, so as you can see, we've got three different textures. Two are RGB textures, and one is R plus G plus B plus alpha texture. So we're going to recreate that on our blank preset. Press RGB two times to create two textures and one on RGB plus A. You can rename each texture and add a variable. This one is the mesh name. Press the dollar sign and select the mesh or the object. I'm renaming the first one as normal and the second one as base color. And the third one is going to be um, metallic, ambient occlusion, and roughness. And we're going to grab the normal map, go over converted maps, select the normal that is associated with your project, commit direct X. If you chose OpenGL uh, in your project setup, then grab that one over RGB and drop it and select RGB channels. But do the same for the base color, go into input maps, grab base color and drop it on RGB channels. Now the third one is wrong. You should have uh, a A plus G plus B plus A channel. So select that one. And uh, I'm going to rename it. The dollar sign mesh and metallic ambient occlusion and roughness. I'm using the acronyms there. So follow the letters and grab the associated maps. First one is metallic in the input maps. Bring it over the red channel and select gray channel. Second one on the green channel is going to be ambient occlusion. So it's the first one in input maps, drop it on the green channel and select gray channel. The third one, the blue channel, we don't use. We're going to use the alpha channel for the roughness. And in fact, it's the conversion maps glossiness, not the roughness one. Uh, it won't work correctly in Tailweaver if you don't select glossiness. You need to uh, forget roughness and select glossiness and bring it over the alpha channel and select gray channel. And here we are, we set up our output templates for Tailweaver. We go over settings and we're going to select the size of our textures. If you created a project with a higher value than uh, 10 and 24 pixels, you can go back to 10 and 24. If you're going to create a large creatures or gargantuan creatures, you can select 2K textures. Going over 2K is going to be kind of an overkill. The size of your package will be really heavy, really high, so you don't need 4K. So select either uh, 10 and 24 pixels or 2K pixels for your texture. That's going to be really fine, honestly. Uh, for this one, I'm selecting 1K because it's a small creature, a medium creature. And then I'm going to select the location of my exports. It's going to be the asset folder from Unity. Remember the one we uh, found first when opening the project. As you will paint minis and minis, your folder will be uh, stuffed with a lot of assets, so it's best to create folders and name them accordingly. So this one is an undead Stregoi and Pirate. I'm naming my 
folder as so and selecting it, then pressing export. Once my textures are exported, I'm going to close it and do the same for the mesh. I'm going over to File, Export Mesh, and selecting without displacement or pixelation, clicking Export. I'm selecting my folder, the same one where the textures are. We export an OBG, and when it's done, I press OK, save my substance project, and close. Now we're going over to Unity and Tailweaver. Here I'm going to select my folder where all my exported files are. It's at the end of the trigger operate in the asset main folder. If you don't have this view, select new at the end of the, the screen and drag your mesh over the mesh selection. It's the file with the grid icon. I'm going to bring it over mesh and the mesh appears. Then I'm going to write a name in the display name. It's going to be the name of our creature in Hellspire. For the navigation, it's kind of the same control as in Blender. Uh, for now, you can see our mesh is really ugly. It's a low poly mesh because you don't have the normal map on it right now. And so we're going to bring the textures on the selection uh, boxes there. Um, I've got two sets of textures because I already did an export for this model. So I'm going to bring the base color over the albedo selection. Do the same for the metallic one and the normal map. And as you can see, our mini is really bad because our textures are not readable. So you can click Attempt to change texture import settings to fix the textures, and that will do it. And here you can see I've got the paint wash applied. It really uh, had minor changes. But if you've got a metallic effects or roughness on your mini, that will really change the look of it in Telspire. I prefer to keep it applied because that creates consistency with all my minis. Then I'm going to scale this creature. I'm going to show the example creatures for scale and I'm going to scale it with the inspector. Select your mesh, go over the inspector. If you don't have your inspector view, go over window, general and inspector or control. And select your mesh. I'm going to enable proportionality editing and change it from one. There is a small gap beneath the feet. I'm going to drag mesh below, fix it. And they are like the size of the turtle. It's between the barbarian and the bar. You can change the default scale in Telspire by going over the setting but you should really scale it on the base beforehand. Then we will select the targets for the head spell and hit. You can select each target and move it in the 3D space. And if you want some uh, tip, you can click on the red arrow in orientation, get a side view, and that will be really easier to do. To bring the head over the head, the spell uh, placed in the hand, my mini. Remember to change the view so you don't mess positioning. And the hit target is going to be the main body. For the torch, you can place the target in the head of the arrow on the ground and above. The island. Then we're going to select the cameras for the thumbnail. I like to do a big zoom on the face, like so. And the photo camera follow the thumbnail one. You can just move it along the distance axis, like so. Yep, bring in 
checking the mini view. I'm checking everything. If you've got a, a mesh with a really high uh, poly count, you can reduce the mesh complexity there, but it's not really uh, the right place to do it. You should do it in Blender as we did at the end because there is like 100 polys for the And then when you're done, click save and export your folder. I've got a specific uh, TS mod folder you can export in your local content folder. So the mini will appear directly in your local creations. That's why I like to create folders for each of my uh, TS mods, but it's not compulsory. I just like to stay organized. Rename it with coding name and export for Modio to create the zip file for Modio export. And then we're done. If you want to export to Modio, follow my next video. If not, you can go back to painting more minis.